Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are doing another KM My OC. So what these are is I draw your guys' original characters in my style and just kind of convert your character and their look into my style and keeping the same characteristics as your original character. If you guys would like to participate in any future KM My OCs, make sure to post on Twitter or Instagram under the hashtag KM My OC. I'll be doing these monthly, so if you would like to participate, make sure to get your entry in. So let's go ahead and start this episode. So last time I did a lot of Twitter entries, so I thought to make up for it, since I got a couple comments being like, you did all Twitter, I'll just do all Instagram today. So we'll go through all the Instagram submissions and pick three or four and draw them today. All right, so let's go ahead and look through you guys' submissions. There are a lot to choose from. You guys did so many characters and like so many creatures and things. It's gonna be a very tough decision for me. And I'm trying to do a kind of diverse cast of characters. Like you guys know I like creatures and I like kind of bamf kick-ass characters, but I wanna make sure to push myself and try some characters that I probably wouldn't usually draw myself and just get a big diverse amount of characters today. Okay, so, oh, she's cute. This one's really cool too. This is gonna be really tough because there's a lot of really cool characters, a lot of really cool creatures. You guys are all like super talented. Like I can't get over how many of you make so many amazing characters and creatures. So let's go ahead and pick like, let's do two creatures and one character this time because last time we did a lot of like people characters, but I wanna make sure to do a lot of creatures as well to give you guys a little bit of a plug on those. I really like this guy, he's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do this one. And then I do really like this girl. She's really cool. So I might, you know what, I'm gonna do that for the character. You guys know I love horns and I love girls with horns. So we have to do that at least once. And then finally, let's do one more creature for this round. Oh God, this is tough. This guy's pretty cool. I like him too, but I, I draw dragons quite a bit. This is hard. This guy is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> kind of want to try him. You know what, let's do that one. And then I'll pick, let's do one more. Let's try to do a set of four again, because I know I did four last time. So let's do this one. He's pretty dang cute, a little, little fur ball. All right, so we have this creature, which is kind of like a cool raptory bird thing. And then we also have this cool horn babe. Then we have this samurai-ish looking guy. I love his head, he's ridiculous. And then I have this little like furry cute guy. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in, do some sketches of these guys and convert them to my style. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this month's OC. So like I said before, guys, if you would like to submit an OC, make sure you do. And if you've already submitted one, I'll be going further back in the list, but you're also welcome to resubmit them. So starting off today, we have chore designs with this cute little like interesting striped puppy thing. I don't know what uh, animals these are like combined together, but it's super cute. I realized I kind of wish I made the eyes a little bit lower, like on on your original drawing, you have the eyes kind of connect to where the mouth is. And I'm kind of wishing that I did that, but I do think this guy is super cute. I kind of took some liberty with picking the inside of the mouth color, but really cute design, super cuddly and fun. And I think this guy would make an adorable and little cute pet. And then next up, we have this raptor thing. This guy was really cool. I really like his design and the color scheme is just something I love. And this one is from Only Hate Connects Us. And you said it's a mock, mocha, mocha raptor? Yes, I, sorry if I butchered what type of raptor it is, but it's cool. Like, I really like that you added these like scars and like lots of cool like feather accents to it and then having the little spikes down the back and then what I'm assuming is like thorned ivy kind of around its neck and torso. I thought that was kind of a fun little addition and it added some cool texture on top of that fur. And then of course I love big giant fangs and when you make them red they look super cool. So this guy was a lot of fun to do, a lot of fun to draw and his color scheme was just right up my alley. So this guy kind of reminds me of a Pokemon, especially when you had the kind of like mask, like skull mask on him in one of the designs. I really thought that was a nice, cool touch. And he just reminds me of, I can't think of 
which Pokemon it is, but having the big over-exaggerated feathers and these colors and kind of the little added bits like the thorns and the little uh, and the little shackle around his ankle, it just made it like a really fun and interesting looking character. And then next up on the OCs, we have from Jay the Walrus, the Seven Deadly Sins Challenge Day One Lust character design. I thought this girl was super cute. I could not pass up doing a cute, cool looking babe with horns. Like, I think that's just one of my weaknesses. I don't know why, but I find them in my sketchbooks. I actually have a bunch of prints with girls with horns, and I actually recently designed some enamel pins. So if you guys would like to keep an eye out on my store or join my mailing list, I will be posting those as soon as I get the orders in, but I'm gonna be selling different pins coming up. I have two horned girl pins and then one horned guy pin coming out really soon. I'm really excited for them. Um, I probably will be opening pre-orders, but just FYI, keep your eye out on Twitter or Instagram, or you can actually join, like I said, I have a mailing list on my website. So if you go to caitlinmckaig.com or you find me on Twitter or Instagram under K McKaig, you'll find me K-M-C-C-A-I-G-U-E. I'm gonna post about it when the uh, pins go live for sale. And I'm really excited for them because it just seems to be a thing that is pretty common on the channel. Just my love for horns and then putting horns on girls and guys and just making them look badass and cool. It's just, that's how it is. I don't know why, but just keep your eye out for those fun pins. But back to this OC, I really love this design in general. Love the purple skin with the really cool bluish purplish hair. And then her tattoo is really fun and interesting and in how it reflects the patterning that's also on her shorts. Really fun character. And then next up we have from Battle Bear, we have this cool samurai looking guy. And uh, I love your little comment of, I so wanna see you do this one. <laughs> well, now you get to see it. He was a very interesting design for sure. And I kinda liked the, the difference between him having really detailed samurai armor and then on the flip side, also having kind of more of a cartoony face. And I, I'm kind of curious, I want you to answer in the questions, is his face based off a of fish? Because that's all I see when I look at this guy is he looks like he's a little fish and I love him. But either way, he was really fun to do and I've always really liked doing armor and this was a great excuse to basically take your like base armor design and kind of put it in a new pose and then for your original drawing, you had the waist up, so I got to kind of expand and try out what to do for the pants and bottom, so I hope you like it. I know I kind of took some creative liberties by designing the bottom half of your character, but I hope you still really like his cool costume design. And then also, I was super proud of how the weapons turned out. Like, I usually don't do um, curved blades at such an extreme angle like I did in his left hand, but I think that's like my favorite part of the drawing. I had so much fun just drawing that blade. It just turned out really good in my head, like right off the bat. So I was so proud and so happy with it. So I think that part was just the favorite of this entire drawing. And then I also really like the color scheme of this guy. I love the oranges, reds, and blacks. I just have a soft spot for black, red, and orange and having those combined in different ways. So this guy's color scheme was right up my alley.
And there we have it. We are now wrapping up this next episode of KMIOC. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. So for sure, if you guys would like to participate in the next KMIOC, make sure to send your post in on Twitter or Instagram under the hashtag KMIOC. That's the only place I'm checking. I'm not doing emails. I don't really have a great way to check Facebook. So make sure to post on Twitter or Instagram. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video and thank you all so much for submitting your OCs. There are so many amazing entries and these guys were super fun. So if you got picked, great work, awesome OC and thank you so much. But yes, I can't wait to see what other OCs you guys make. And if you liked this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit a like, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time for another art video. Bye everybody.